Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the final episode of uh, the Economy mini series. Uh, in this quick episode, I'm going to show you guys uh, a few bug fixes that I made in the plugin, and then I'm going to just quickly show you the plugin. So let's just go through, and I think there were two or three little um, fixes that I made between this episode and the last episode. So the first major change that I made is um, if we go over to uh, get balance with the player it now um, uses it takes the name and it use, puts it to lowercase so set balance and get balance use lowercase because I was having an issue where um, sometimes the name would be saved to the configuration file in lowercase sometimes in uppercase and then it wouldn't work correctly because um, like I would try to get the amount for the player name uh, with like stylized uh, in uppercase like that but then it would be saved in lowercase like this and then the values would be different and it wouldn't work so uh, I fix that by using lowercase so it will always be lowercase and we won't have to worry about that issue second thing is I forgot to set up the scoreboard manager so I just added that little line in there Third of all, I made the plugin.yml, basic plugin.yml with the command, the permissions, and all the stuff at the top. Um, so now we'll go ahead and go into the actual plugin. So uh, I'm on the testing server right here. And uh, let's see. All right, so I'm on the testing server right here. And I have two plug. I have uh, my two plugins on here, or three. I have Vault on here. I have Economy 29, and I also have, um, what's it called? I have, uh, and then I also have a plugin called BuyXP. Um, BuyXP is a little plugin that I made even before this channel, maybe a year ago. It was one of the first things I ever made, and it basically allows you to, um, use, uh, money through Vault to buy levels of experience. Uh, it, it, you wouldn't use it now because of the staggered uh, experience level change that was introduced a while ago, but uh, back when I made it, levels were... Um, it wasn't staggered. Uh, you know, it's a fine tool for testing the vault integration. So first we'll go ahead and run the eco command and you'll see it says my balance is ten dollars. Uh, I have been testing with this so I set my balance uh, to be $10 when I was doing some testing earlier. So let's go ahead and test the two commands. So let's go ahead and add uh, 10. And it will say added $10 to so both 29. So they now have $20. And if I run, it says I have $20. So I had 10 and I added 10. So now I have 20. So let's go ahead and do eco remove uh, pogo stick 29 uh, 10. So it'll say remove $10 from pogo stick 29. They now have $10. And if I go here, then in fact the money was removed. So the uh, eco, the built-in command functionality does work. So now let me just show you the vault integration. So we'll go ahead and go over to BuyXP, and you type BuyXP and then the level. Uh, there is a configuration file for BuyXP. I think that each level is currently set at ten dollars per level. So we'll go ahead and do uh, buy XP one, and it will say you bought one level and spent ten dollars. Uh, so if we go back to Eco, you will see that my balance is now zero dollars. It was ten before, uh, but Vault went ahead and took away ten dollars, so that works. Um, see, the final thing that I want to show you is let's say I try to buy another level, but I don't have any money. You'll see an error has occurred, so insufficient funds. Uh, the message, uh, they did not have enough money, so the message that I wrote back was insufficient funds, and that's the message that they received. And in fact, if I go to Eco, I have zero dollars and not, like, negative ten dollars or something like that. So I guess that's pretty much it. This was just a very basic um, introduction to uh, an economy plugin. It's fully working, and it has Vault support, which is pretty cool. The next um, mini-series that I'm going to do uh, is Permissions. Um, 
that will be, you know, another five or six part series, maybe a little bit more. Uh, and that will basically cover a permissions plugin with adding and removing permissions. And again, um, I guess I'll do vault integration, but the real thing with permissions plugins is um, bucket integration so that it can, um, you know, it, so that it can integrate with uh, the sender dot has permission, command sender has permission method, and all of those different things. So that's going to be pretty important. Uh, so that is coming soon. I will try to get the first video for that up tomorrow. I'm um, sorry that I haven't put a video out in a while, but I have been, uh, I was on vacation for a week. Now I'm back. Um, after that, I'm going to uh, head over, uh, I think I'm going to redo the Java tutorial series because um, the current tutorial series is old and it's not very good, I'm going to be completely honest. So I want to, um, like, I want to redo the Java series because it's very important that you know Java before uh, you start trying to tackle Bucket. So, um, that's, that is basically where we're going. And I know that 2,000 subscribers is coming up very soon. Uh, I'm working on something for that, and I'm very excited for that. So, that's all for this video. As always, uh, code is in the description. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you liked this video, please click the like button. And I'll see you guys very soon with the first video of the Permissions mini-series. Alright, bye guys.